everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming, a skadoosh. And uh, every now and then, I like to go purchase something at random off eBay. Typically, it has the word random, a mystery, or a lottery, and MTG in the title. This one seems to have all three. So, it says 250 plus Magic the Gathering, all rare random mystery lottery, MTG Commander Series. Total cost is $45.75. Seller's name is J. Justin 1379 He has 1,919 feedback. Of that, 98.6% is positive. Not too bad. Let's take a look at what he is selling for $45.75. Currently more than 10 available, 3 sold. For anyone um, watching this right now, I do not recommend you go out and purchase this. Let me spend my money so you don't have to. That's always been the motto of these um, again, I've opened about 50 of these or so, and I've been burned 45 times. Not too many have I made out, so do keep that in mind. But on the times I have made out, I've made out pretty good, and it became very exciting uh, to open and see what was all inside. It looks like he collects some Pokemon as well. So from the looks of things, there's some older stuff, there's some vintage, there's a lot of Commander. Um, there's some real new stuff as well. Um, I can tell by some of the images here. I will be happy to walk away with about five bucks. Uh, well, five bucks in at least one mythic. If I can get five dollars out of one mythic, I'll consider this a success because I've seen what these lots usually have in store. All right, so there is the entirety of that. Let's take a little breakdown again. Forty-five seventy-five. What is inside of one of these? He says hello to all my fellow Magic the Gathering players and collectors. I am currently selling lots on eBay in order to raise money. She's starting after school program teaching young kids this great game that has helped and taught me so much. That is awesome. If that is the truth, that is awesome. Uh, he says he's currently an educator, you know, in the education department, yada, yada, yada. It sounds kind of weird if you put that together, but this is a lot for 250 plus rare Magic the Gathering cards. Mythics and Planeswalkers may also appear in this lot, but are not guaranteed. Uh, there's limited duplication with these lots. That's a plus. You will not get more than two of any rare. I will try to include at least 150 unique rare cards, if not more. The cards can come from a wide range of sets from 94 to 2018. I'm not going to read all of this, um, but it does look like we're going to be getting a wide range of stuff here. He does go on to say, thank you for your interest. Um, there could be bulk. Right here is important. You could get rares worth a decent amount of money, or it could be all bulk. Very interesting that he would say that. So let's find out if it is worth it. He says 150 unique rare cards, if not more. All right. Uh, unique ones, that is. So 250 in all. Justin, we're going to find out if your little eBay selling uh, business here is worth it or not. And guys, I want to know your opinion. Is it worth it? Let me know at the end of this. You know, you guys are all watching this. Is it worth it to pick up one of these for $40, $45.75 free shipping? Let's find out. Journey with me. If you're not subscribed, by all means, go ahead. We do have a lot of fun here. Open random things, do deck techs, uh, gameplay videos, booster box openings. Better be sure Throne of Eldraine is going to be cracked open. We'll probably be the first ones to do it on this channel. Leave a like, subscribe, skadoosh. Let's see what's inside. Let's get to cracking, Captain. Also, shout out to Matt, Preston, Eric Thurman, William Carter, Adam Lovely, Justin Kelly, fake name, Tim Pettit, and Hunter Garderbrecht. Also, Jason Paxton, Justin Plonksky, Adam Storm, James Nimigine, Cruiser, Brian Kuhn, and Adam Storm. Thank you. I'm more interested in the rares and whatnot. So, let's see. And we got this milkshake. It brings all the boys to the yard. They're like, it's better than yours. All right. And another sticker. Vroom. Pretty cool they got some stickers in here. All right. I guess this is the whole kit and caboodle. Nothing else left inside. Let's get to opening. What will we get? Uh, this one looks to be a bit thinner. I'll start with the thickest one. Now, I'm not going to know the, the price of every single thing that I pull out of one of these. But I'll give it my all, guys. And uh, I want to find out if it's really worth it. Should anyone go out and purchase one of these? And I'm sure you will all let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Now, remember, $45. Essentially, we're paying about a quarter, roughly, for a card. How is that? Uh, someone tally that all up for me. We have 250 rares. If someone wants to do the math, go ahead excruciator. Ooh, hello there. 
Alicia, who smiles at death. Now, I can't go over every single card here. It'll we'll be here forever, but I'm just going to give you a good idea. If, anytime anyone wants to pause the video. Oh, that sticky stuff got on me, though. It's not good for the video. That stuff. How's that? Like, ugh. I'm all stuck here. That one thing from the sticky stuff on the, on the tape, it really got me. All right, we got the uh, Chimera. Extractor Demon. Get a load of that quality, though. That's all I'm saying. All right. Uh, Braids Cabal Minion. She is scary. One of the scariest cards I've seen, I must say. Uh, there, I'll, just, I'll make sure you guys can see everything in, fl in frame here. Uh, Sever the Bloodline. No, legit. This is in... Oh, I thought it was a different, uh, different language, but it's not. It's one of those uh, face-up, face-down cards, though. That might have gone up in price a little bit because of the whole face-down, face-up thing. Hundred-handed one. Imagine that being your boyfriend. Unbelievable, huh, girls? All right, Dragon Lair Spider. There you go. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a 1-1 one -one green insect creature token on the battlefield. I learned something new the other day. I did, I did. Vanilla ice cream. Interesting stuff. Uh, you should look up what's inside of that. Uh, but insects, man, they are in so many things you would not believe. They are, they really are. I can't say anything more about that. But look it up, though. Look up how it's made. There's some disgusting things. Charmbreaker Devils. Abzan Ascendancy. There you go. Not too shabby. Cruel Ultimatum. I wonder if this card's ever going to go up. It's very powerful, but, man, the casting on it is ridiculous. Good old Grix's colors, but target opponent sacrifices a creature, discards three cards, and loses five life. You return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand, draw three cards, and gain five life. Whole lot going on there, but pretty tough to get that out. Advent of the Worm, Mr. Guild, Hour of Eternity. There you have it. Apocalypse Demon. Nasty little card. Can be. Kefnet's Last Herd. Better flush it, Kefnet. This card didn't do a whole lot. Uh, with eyes wide open, treat anybody under the sunlight, welcome to... Okay, reason and believe. There is that. Lantern Scout made an ally deck with this card. Pretty cool, must say. The old Mana Bloom. Uh, looks like so far a lot of bulky cards. I wouldn't even know if we're going to hit a non-bulk card. I don't know the price of every single Magic the Gathering card out there, guys. Like, is Blood Hall Priest worth anything? I know Madness thing just came back around. This card might have shot up a dollar or so, you know? This was purchased over a month ago. I just never got around to opening it. I do apologize um, for anyone who, uh, you know, because I'm not doing it right at the time. Swarm Intelligence, Refuse and Cooperate. That's why I was surprised even had, like, any still available for sale. I think it was two months ago, really. It was a while ago. Hazard's Favor. Omen Machine. There you go, the Omen Machine. Players can't draw cards. Oh, brutal, man. That's pretty nasty. Goblin Diplomats. Each creature attacks his turn if able. From one of those... Uh, there's a lot of variety in here. I'm kind of liking this so far. I like the variety. I'll say that. Wildest Dreams. Emperor's Vanguard. This guy having a good old day. He's about to rotate out. We'll see ya. Corrupted Graphstone. There you have it. Oath of Jace. Some of these oaths are worth something. Bludgeon Brawl. Get a load of this. This card actually goes with something recently printed. Uh, each non-creature, non-equipment artifact is an equipment with equip X. An equipped creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is the artifact's converted mana cost. This goes pretty nasty with some cards that are out right now. This card might have jumped in price like three, four bucks. I don't even know what it's at, but that's pretty cool to note. Uh, Prognostic Sphinx up in here. I'll put that one aside just in case. I'm going to look it up later. Grasping Current. Mr. Cultivator, what a shirt off. This dude is shredded. Watch out, girls. Watch out, guys. He will tear you up. His eye has something weird going on with it, though. You ever look at this card closely? Something weird going on with his eye. Emeralds of Angel. Prismal Ray. Ultimate bulk stuff right there. The Ankle Shanker. Coming at you. Watch out, baby. Watch out. From Under the Floorboards. Always like this artwork. Always like that artwork. Really, really neato. Great art there. Who does that? Steven Belden. Good job, my friend. Walker of the Wilds. We got uh, Leaving Chance. Got some camels up in there. That's right. This guy's uh, like a messiah or something. Taking him to uh, Awesome Town. Ambush Leader. Always will be Balk. Never is going to change. Same with this guy. Uh, this card, man, it, there was a lot of hype around this card, and it just didn't do much. Just too much mana. They're asking way too much. Merchant's Dockhand. Yeah, there you go. One of those. The Rebel. I don't think I've ever seen this card played once. <laughs> that says a lot. Heart Pierce and Manticore. Another, oh, there's some duplicate right, right there. We got the Orrery. Gyre for Orrery. Weird word, man. 
Uh, Pilot Exemplar. There you go. She might be worth five cents. Who knows? Chemister. Jin of Wishes coming at us. Oh, Rubinia Soul Singer. I just saw a card with you on it. I wonder where I have that. I don't know where it's at, but it's pretty crazy. Metzloff sent me it. Pretty neat. Uh, very interesting, though. She's a commander for some people. Now you know. She's worth a little something. Noyan Dar Royal Shaper. Another Merfolk guy. Cool for him, huh? Welcome to the fold. There's so many cards in here. Some are quite bulk, though, I'll say that. Grim Reminder, that's probably a bulk card. The Glyph Keeper, I already know that's bulk. Disaster Radius. Good old Ixalan. Never even heard of Is that from Ixalan? Never even heard of this card. Anybody? What the heck? Fortune Thief, coming at you. Some M25. Another one of these cards, the Goblin uh, Raze Runners. Beacon of Destruction. You see a lot of cool cards in here, I must say. There's a lot, like, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. There's just ranges from all different sets. It looks like we got like a nice chunk of one set called the Herd. Quite a few cards from this one. Yep, see that symbol? That's like the fifth in a row now. Volcanic Vision. Goblin Goon. Got some goonage. Captured. Hate this card with a passion. I don't know what it is about Bounty, man. I just can't stand it. Tenant Vizier of Nectatum. He's going Egyptian on us now. Fair to comply with the feed. Uh, Architect the Entombed. Eminent Doom. Oketra's Last Mercy. A lot of mercy. Got the Helion, Trinkster, Deadlock Trap, Eliminate the Competition. Get out of here. That is dangerous stuff right there, man. Dangerous stuff. All right, see what else we get up in here. So here's the second one. I learned my lesson the first time. We're not insane. We are not going to do that again. Oh, man. All right. Let's see here, guys. Stay with me. See up. We could pull something crazy at any moment. Confiscation Coop. Nehab the Worthy. Is he worth anything? Probably not. Chaos Maw, I hate that card also. Haven't got a ghetto. There it is. Oracle's Vault. Cruiser. Showdown. We've got Oracle's Vault again, so there's a reprint on that. Honored uh, Hornered Hydra. Uh, I've seen a lot of bulk in this little package here. Territorial Gorger. Another Chaos Maw, I hate that. Uh, uh, Hydra, haven't got a ghetto. Eliminate the competition, definitely bulk here. Ooh, we are repeating bulk. Repeating bulk, Death Trap. Uh, that card was really good in its time. Fall of the Titans, Angel Cat, Balk, Balk. Ooh, the Trafficker. Watch out for those people, man. Uh, you'll make the news. Multiform Wonder. Wolf Briar Elemental. These car cool card. Not sure if it's worth anything, though. Path of Bravery. The Paladin. Ooh, some. Uh, there's a crease running down the entirety of that card. You see it? You see that crease running down that card? Not even a crease. It's just like a line. That's like a manufacturer error. Then we got Oran Reef Hydra. I never knew that crappy card was reprinted. Unbelievable. The Seeker, a Jin, Goliath. Cool card, but I hate it. Garuk's Horde. The Liquor Lord. Watch out for him, ladies. Vizia. All right, so nothing too crazy up in that pile. We got more. We got two more of these big old guys. Have you guys ever purchased anything like this, or is it just me? Am I the only one crazy enough to go out there and dabble in these things? Or are there other people out there who are nuts just like me? If you're nuts just like me, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from my nutty friends. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, guys. We dropped some magic cards. No, no, no. And have you ever damaged or really destroyed any of your collection? Like, you spill water on it? That happened to me. I was so upset by that. Um, and I had a, um, a buddy of mine. He was messaging me not too long ago talking about it. Terrible things, man. We got Hypersonic Dragon. All right. Dimen uh, dimensional Infiltrator. I'm really a little disappointed. I'm not seeing anything from too long ago, from like back in the day. I think that's a little unfortunate. I'm seeing a lot more recent stuff. And he did say we would see some things from way back in the day. But so far, it's mainly bulk bulk rares and stuff. Cruel Sadist. Cool card, though. Martial Law. I, mean, I, I, I expect that. I'm spending $45, so it's kind of expected. I can't really be like, oh, I can't wait to win the lottery and pull out a Moxie Ember, man. Uh, there's something older. Okay, good. I'm glad I started complaining and we pulled something. Riptide Mangler. Change Riptide Mangler's power to target creature's power. That could be kind of cool. I mean, it can be. It could be. Give that something else. Avacyn's Judgment. There we go. Some older stuff. Slumbering Torah. What does this even do? Reduce, discard a spirit or arcane card. Slumbering Torah becomes an XX artifact creature until end of turn where X is the discarded card. It's really mana. So much going on with that card. Coax from the blind eternities. These guys are all getting down and worshiping some bad things. Don't be like them. The Bygone Bishop. Wasn't that worth something decent? Maybe like a penny? I don't know. Yeah, Impetuous Devils. 
Ooh, assembled alphas. If only they ever amounted to something. They just fell a little shy. Ooh, spike tiller. They had spikes back in this set? What set is that? This is old. They had spikes back then. I didn't realize that. That is kind of cool. I'm, I'm just happy to see a spike. Spikes are those things all those plus one counters, and you can create a creature by sacrificing them and all types of stuff. Removing a land. Really, really neat. Uh, Moon Drakes, because there's not many dragons in blue. The Dread Knight. Triscaticophobia. Bet you couldn't have said that right the first time. Bam! Ownage, baby. Drownyard Temple. Is that the flip card? Nope. Ever After? That's by Steve again. No, it's Ryan. Ryan did that one. Slayer's Plate. Equipped creature gets plus four, plus two. Whenever equipped creature dies, if it was a human, put a 1-1 white spear creature token with flying out of the battlefield. All right, something. Some deliverance. This, th what the heck is that? The Dalkin Wizard. That thing is, is that's like a, what's that, from Star Wars, B232, D242, I don't know, something like that, Brain in a Jar. I always thought this card would be a lot cooler, and it just never amounted to crap. This is kind of shapoopy. Calvary, the Howl. Stormkirk's, another Stormkirk, times two, and there looks like there's, um, someone drew a little design on that. It looks like they drew a moon. Did someone draw that, or is that like some weird misprint? You guys see that? You see that right there? I'm not sure what to make of that. It looks like someone drew it on there, a little moon. Why would they draw a moon on that? I don't understand. Eldritch moon, maybe, guys. Newsgraph mob up in there. Oath of Liliana. <laughs> Wharf Infiltrator, the Thief. Stitcher's Graft. Uh, seeing a whole lot of kind of just bulky, just crappiness right here. Um, Tower of Champions. Target creature gets plus six, plus six until end of turn for eight. Pretty insane if you can get that out in your commander build. Do commander players run that? I don't even know. Uh, maybe. Maybe they do. From M14, domestication. Enchanted creature, you control enchanted creature. If enchanted creature's power is four or greater, sacrifice domestication. That's terrible. There's cards way better than that. That's just junk. Flying carpet. That goes way back. Target creature gets flying its own of turn. Pretty neat. It's just fortering out. Lightning surge. That dude's getting electrified. I want that in foil, man. Midnight Oil, the Redeema, End Hostilities, Destroy All Creatures, and All Permanents Attach to Creatures. Call of Unity, The Tower, Another Plumber, or pl pl yeah, Plumler, Pummeler, we can talk today. Never. Last Stand, get a load of that car. Look at the art on this thing, man. That is crazy. It reminds me of Pandemonium, probably the same guy that made him. Target opponent loses two life for each swamp you control. Last stand deals damage equal to the number of mountains you control to target creature. Put a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token on the battlefield for each forest you control. You gain two life for each plains you control. Draw a card for each island you control, then discard that many cards. What the heck? Last stand. Interesting. Never knew that was a card. Very interesting card. Sphinx. Drana's Chosen. Crater Elemental. The Ugin. Sandsteep Mastodon. Possessed Centaur. Get some... Invocation of Saint Traft. Distorting Whale. Or Distorting Wake. I'm like, where's the whale on there? I don't see a whale on there. Return X target nine land permanent to their owner's hand. Could be all right. Mist Form Sky Reaver. Legit sauce. 6-6. Six, six. Flying. Mist Form be type becomes a creature type of your choice. In return. Ah, that's, that's seven, though. It's kind of crappy. Uh, Degavolver. Degavolver, yeah. New Perspectives. Bulk Thrall. Oath of the Ancient Woods. All right. I love the art on that, though. I love the art on that thing, man. It's really creepy. Soul Swallower. Get out of here. Good old Dragon's Maze. Ultimate bulk set right there. Uh, conscripts. We got Zealous Conscripts. From Beyond. Recruit. Sphinx. Steam Algorithm. Illusionary Games. We are down to the final one, ladies and germs. Hang tight. What is it going to be? Down to the final one. Pull all these out. Ooh, this one looks a little bit older. Kazandu, Tusk Kala, with the level up abilities. That's kind of neato. All these level up abilities, way back in the day. Echo Mage, he's ultimate bulk, I already know that, but he's pretty cool to look at. Got the Avarice Amulet. Very, very interesting there. Sphinx of Uthum. Ooh, this is, some of this looks to be a little bit older. This is kind of cool. And this is Revelation. Yeah. Pentavis and their bulk. Hellkite Igniter. Distant Memories. Oh, gosh. We all miss him, bun, don't we? We all, we all have that distant memory. Back of our mind. I hate this card. Oh, sad. 
No one misses anybody. Frontier Sage, Colossal Whale. Sahili's Artistry. Some of her art, she looks really hot in. Others, like I'm like, get out of my bedroom. Goblin Kaboomist. He's a fun name, huh? Druidic Satchel. Silk Lash Spider. Master of Predecements. Some weird, crazy cards here. Captain's Hook. That card had a lot of hype around it, and it just stunk, man, because pirates didn't do jack. Very disappointing with uh, the pirates. Garrick's Horde yet again. Garrick's Horde again. Butcher of the Horde. A lot of hordes going on here. Captured. Ascendancy. Tower. High Sentinels of Arshurn. Ruins of Oran the Reef. There you go. So it looks like we have a Johnny's Chosen right here. There you go. Johnny's Chosen. I don't want to speak too soon, but yeah, I mean, it's mostly uh, bulk cards. 99.9%. Uh, .9 Haunted Plate Mail. There you go. That's ultimate bulk. Savage Summoning. Savage Summoning can't be countered. The next creature card you cast this turn can't be cast as though it had flash. That spell can't be countered. That creature enters a battlefield with additional pulse and pulse counter. That's not too bad. Isn't that worth maybe something? Savage Summoning? Sounds like it's something. Uh, Wingmare, the Felnix, a Helion, Willbreaker, the Jin. So mostly, uh, definitely a pretty uh, yeah amount of bulky, <laughs> I will have to say. But uh, it was interesting to open it. You get a, you get a variety of different cards. Um, Battle at the bridge. What he said would be in here is in here. There was a disclaimer. You know, you might not get much. I guess if you wanted to. You know, get a whole bunch of bulk cards and uh, play with them. You can go ahead and do that, uh, maybe. Or you know, if you want to, you know, kids always like this stuff too. You know, if you want to get maybe, or your buddy, your friend, you know, your friend maybe, whoever you know that you want to help them. You know, maybe not upgrade their collection, but get them a bunch of rares. This might be a route to go, but you're really not getting. There's there's not a whole lot of value here, you know, and most of these cards are probably never going to go up in value. Like 95% of them will never go up in value. So, I mean, there's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, by all means, or if you didn't, I don't even care. Uh, I don't Get out of here. I don't even care what you do, man. You're not going to listen to me anyway. You never do. Yeah, just like my girlfriend. Get out of here. Let me know your thoughts on it, though.